Hi everyone! For today's video, uh, we will discuss the Euler's quotient function. Okay, so let us define first. Euler, Euler's quotient function, so ang symbol is phi of n for an input n is the count of numbers in 1, 2, 3, up to n minus 1 that are relatively prime to n. That is, the numbers whose GCD with n is 1. Okay, so that is the definition of Euler's quotient function. So, that is the, the count of numbers in 1 to n minus 1 that are relatively prime. Okay, so when we say relatively prime, that means the GCD, greatest common divisor, with n is equal to, equal to 1. So, we have three cases in uh, Euler's quotient function. So, we have... If n is prime, the formula is quotient of n or phi, phi of n is equal to n minus 1. Then, if n equals p times q, where p and q are primes, then the formula is quotient uh, of n or phi of n is p minus 1 times q minus 1. And then the last formula, if n is equal to a times b, either a or b is composite or both A and B are composite, then the formula is N times 1 minus 1 over P sub 1 times 1 minus 1 over P sub 2 and so on. It depends on the number of primes. Where P sub 1, P sub 2 up to P sub N are primes. Okay, so we're going to solve these uh, five examples. Okay, so number one, we have P of 7. Okay, so... Let's solve number 1, P of 7. So what is the P of 7 or quotient, quotient of 7? So quotient of 7. So the answer to this, since 7 is prime, so this is in this uh, case number 1, N is prime, the answer is just subtract 1. So P of 7, so that is equal to 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1 so the answer is equal to equal to 6 so if we count the number of uh, relatively prime to 7 so we have 1 and 7 they are relatively prime 2 and 7 relatively prime 3 and 7 4 and 7 5 and 7 and then 6 and 7 they are all relatively prime since 7 is a prime number okay so another example Number two, we have quotient of 15. Phi of 15. So what is the answer to number two? We have phi of 15. So 15 is not a prime number. 15 is equal to 15 is equal to 5 times 3. Okay? 5 times 3, that is equal to 15. And 5 and 3 are both prime number. So we can use the case number two. If n is equal to p times q, where p and q are primes, then the formula is p minus 1 times q minus 1. So therefore, the p of 15 is equal to 5 minus 1 times 3 minus 1. So therefore, we have 5 minus 1 is 4 times 3 minus 1, we have 2. So therefore, the p of 15 is equal to, equal to 8. Okay, so let's write the numbers that are relatively prime to 15. Okay, so let's write all the numbers. So just to prove that the phi of 15 is equal to 8. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to n minus 1. So that we have up to 14. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So I will cross out the number that is not relatively prime to 15 1 and 15 relatively prime 2 and 15 they are relatively prime 3 and 15 are not relatively prime because the gcd of 3 and 15 is 3 so they have common factor of 3 so cancel out 3 4 and 15 okay so that's relatively prime 5 and 15 not relatively prime because they are both divisible by 5 so what cross out this 6 and 15, both divisible by 3. 7 is 15, okay. 8 and 15, okay. 9 and 15, both divisible by 3, so they are not relatively prime. 10 and 15, both divisible by, by 5. 
11 is good. 12 and 15 is both divisible by 3. So, cross this out. 13 and 15, relatively prime. And 14 and 15, relatively prime. So, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, therefore, our answer is correct. The P of 15 is equal to equal to 8. Okay, so we can verify if the value of n is just a small number. Okay, so let's try number. Number 3, we have P of 45. Okay, so P of 45, so that is case number, case number 3, n is equal to A times B. Okay, so we have P of 45. So we factor out first 45, express the uh, 45 as n equals A times B. So, we cannot express 45 as product of 2 primes because 45, we use factor 3. 45, that is equal to 3 times 15. Okay? 3 is a prime number, but 15 is not a prime number. So, we will use case number 3. Either A or B is composite. So, in this example, 15 is composite, 3 is prime. Okay? So, we continue the factoring. We factor 15. We get the prime factor, so 45, so we have 3 and 15, and then 15 is 3 times 5. Okay? So, 45 is equal to, 45 is equal to 3 squared times, times 5. So, we use this formula. P of n is equal to n times 1 minus the reciprocal. 1 over P sub 1. P sub 1 is the prime, so we have P sub 1 is 3, and then P sub 2 is 5. In our example, P of 45. Okay? So, let's apply this formula. So, we start with the value of N that is equal to 45. Okay? And then 1 minus our first prime, we have 3. So, 1 minus the reciprocal of 3, we have 1 third. And then times 1 minus the reciprocal of 5, that is 1 fifth. Okay? So, let's just solve this. We have 45. Let's simplify this. 1 minus 1 third. That is equal to 2 thirds. And then we have 1 minus 1 fifth. That is equal to 4 fifths. And then we simplify. Simplify 45 divided by 3. So we can uh, reduce this. That is equal to 15. Okay. And next we have 15 divided by 5. So 15 divided by 5. That is equal to 3. And then let's multiply the remaining uh, numbers. We have 3 times 2. And then times 4. So therefore, the answer is 3 times 2 is 3 times 2 is 6 times 4. That is equal to 24. Okay? So next number, number 4, we have P of 200. So number 4, P of 200. So P of 200. So this is another case number 3 because we cannot express 200 as product of prime. 200, that is equal to 2 times 100. And 100 is composite. So we have case number 3 again. Okay? So let's use case number 3. But first, uh, we need to use, uh, we need to get the prime factors of 200. So prime factors of 200, we have 2 times 100. And then 100, so 100, that is 2 times uh, 50, and then 50, that is equal to 2 times 25, and then 25, 25 is equal to 5 times 5. Okay? So therefore, the fact of, uh, prime factors of 200 is equal to, we have 3 twos and then 2 fives. So we have 200 is equal to 3 squared times uh, 3, uh, sorry, that is we have 3 2, so we have 2 cubed times 5 squared. Okay, so we, we can now solve the value of P of 200, so that is equal to the N, N is 200, times 1 minus our first uh, prime number this, in this uh, factor, 1 minus reciprocal of 3, we have 1 half, and then 1 minus reciprocal of 5, that is equal to uh, 1 fifth. Okay? And then, let's just solve. We have 200. 1 minus 1 half, that is 1 half. And then, 1 minus 1 fifth, that is equal to 4 fifths. Then, let's just divide. 
100 divided by 2, that is equal to, uh, 200 divided by 2 is 100, and then 100 divided by 5, 100 divided by 5, that is equal to 20. And then just multiply 20 times 1 is 20 times 4, the answer is 80. So therefore, the P of 200 is equal to 80. Okay, so for our last example, we have P of 180. Okay, so let's answer P of 180. P of number, last example, P of 100, 180. So let's just uh, factor 180. So that uh, this is case again number 3. Because we cannot express 180 as product of 2 prime numbers or 3 prime numbers. So 180, let's uh, factor using the factor 3. 180, so uh, that is equal to 18 times 10. 18 and 10, they are both composite. So both A and B are composite. So we use case number 3. And then we continue factoring this. 18, that is equal to 9 times 2. And then 10 is 5 times 2. And then we have, we can still factor 9. 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So therefore, 180 prime factors are, we have 2 twos. So we have 2 squared times we have 2 threes. So therefore, we have 3 squared and then times we have 1 5. So times 5. So therefore, the P of 180 is equal to 180 times 1 minus the reciprocal of the first prime factor. We have 2, so 1 minus 1 half. And then we have 1 minus reciprocal of 3, we have 1 third. And then another prime factor, we have 5, so we have 1 minus 1 fifth. Then just simplify, we have 180, 1 minus 1 half, that is 1 half. 1 minus 1 third, that is 2 thirds. And then 1 minus 1 fifth, that is equal to 4 fifths. Okay? So let's simplify. We can use a cancellation. We can cancel out the 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And then let's divide this. 180 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. So we have 60. Okay? Cancel out the 3. And then we have 60 divided by 5. 60 divided by 5, that is equal to 12. So therefore, we have the remaining terms are 12 times we have 1 and then times 4. So therefore, the final answer, P of 180, the totient function of 180 is 12 times 1 times 4. The answer is 48. Okay, so that's all. That's all. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Okay, bye-bye.